Mie Xiji, China's first homegrown electron beam lithography machine. With 0.6 nanometer accuracy and the power to engrave circuits thinner than DNA, this breakthrough could redefine the future of Chinese semiconductors. But how does it really work? And why does it matter? The story of Xiji is a tech breakthroughs in innovation and the power of possibility. By mastering electron flow at the nanoscale, China has opened new doors for itself and the world. Gigi's immediate impact will be felt in research labs, accelerating breakthroughs in AI, quantum tech, and beyond. It democratizes nanoscale innovation, putting powerful tools in the hands of tomorrow's creators. The expertise gained from Shiji will fuel even greater ambitions, from advanced manufacturing to new chip-making technologies. Each success builds confidence, creating a cycle of innovation and leadership. Our journey with technology is just beginning. Shiji is a beautiful milestone on that path. It lets us write the future in the language of atoms and electrons. As China advances, it contributes to global progress and the expansion of human knowledge. The universe of possibilities is vast. And now we have a new pen to write its next chapter. The age of Shiji has begun. The future is being drawn one electron at a time. Shiji is more than a scientific feat. It's a strategic move in the global tech race. In today's world, national power is tied to technological capability, especially in semiconductors. China, long the world's largest chip consumer, relied on foreign tools for advanced manufacturing, a vulnerability exposed by recent trade tensions. Access to cutting edge lithography became a geopolitical lever. Xiji is China's answer, a homegrown tool that breaks a critical bottleneck. While not for mass production, it empowers domestic R&D and AI, quantum computing, and more. Now, Chinese scientists can innovate without fear of being cut off from essential tools. This move could reshape the global tech landscape, fostering competition and accelerating innovation. Technological sovereignty isn't just about independence. It's about building a resilient, dynamic foundation for the future. Xiji marks a turning point in that quest. To appreciate Xiji, compare it to traditional photolithography, the dominant method for mass chip production. Photolithography is like screen printing. A mask transfers the entire pattern in one flash, perfect for making millions of identical chips but those masks are expensive and slow to produce, making them impractical for prototyping or small batches. Gigi's maskless e-beam approach is like a high-precision digital printer. No mask, just direct drawing from a computer file. Designers can test, tweak, and redraw circuits in hours, not weeks. This rapid iteration is crucial for innovation and experimentation. The trade-off? E-beam lithography is slower for mass production, but unbeatable for research and specialized chips. Gigi is the tool for inventing the future before scaling up for the masses. It's perfect for labs, startups, and anyone pushing the boundaries of chip design. With Gigi, the cost and delay of physical masks are gone. The future of chip making just got a lot more flexible. How does Gigi work? Imagine an artist with a pen so fine it draws lines just eight nanometers wide, thousands of times thinner than a human hair. Instead of ink, Gigi uses a focused beam of electrons. Its canvas is a silicon wafer coated with a special resist. The machine achieves positioning accuracy of 0.6 nanometers, like drawing on a single grain of sand from space. This process happens in a vacuum with magnetic lenses focusing the electron beam steered by computer control. Gigi draws circuit patterns directly from digital files one pixel at a time. This is maskless lithography, no expensive stencils required. Change the design, just update the file and draw again. This flexibility is a game changer for research and rapid prototyping. Shiji's nano pen empowers innovators to experiment and iterate at lightning speed. It's the ultimate tool for turning ideas into reality at the nano scale. Behind every breakthrough is a team of visionaries. 
Gigi is the result of years of dedication by scientists and engineers at the Institute of Microelectronics Chinese Academy of Sciences. They solved daunting challenges, creating a stable electron beam, guiding it with atomic precision, and developing software to translate digital designs into physical circuits. This wasn't just about building a machine, it was about building expertise. The project cultivated a new generation of experts, laying the foundation for future innovation. Supported by strategic government investment, the team had the freedom to pursue ambitious goals. Shiji is proof that patient-focused investment in science can yield transformative results. The minds behind Shiji have charted a new course for China's technological journey. Enter Shiji China's first commercial electron beam lithography machine. Named after a legendary calligrapher, Shiji writes the future, one electron at a time. For years, advanced chip making tools were dominated by a few countries leaving China dependent on foreign technology. Shiji changes that built entirely in China. It's a declaration of technological independence. Imagine building a skyscraper with your own crane, not borrowing someone else's. Shiji gives China's tech sector the freedom to innovate on its own terms. It's more than a machine. It's a symbol of national pride and progress. With Gigi, Chinese researchers can design and prototype advanced chips without relying on external suppliers. This shift challenges the old narrative of technology flowing only from west to east. Gigi proves that with focus and determination, any nation can push the boundaries of what's possible. It's a tool of empowerment opening new doors for China's future. The world of innovation just got a new player. Look around you. Every device from your phone to satellites in orbit relies on a single invisible marvel, the semiconductor chip. These tiny slivers of silicon are the brains of our digital age, orchestrating the flow of information that powers modern life. Each chip is a miniature city packed with billions of microscopic transistors, the building blocks of all electronics. The more transistors we fit on a chip, the more powerful our devices become. This relentless miniaturization has given us everything from supercomputers to smartwatches. But how do we build these microscopic cities? The answer, lithography, etching patterns onto silicon wafers using light. Think of it as high-tech photography, projecting intricate designs onto a wafer, layer by layer. As we push for smaller features, we hit the limits of light itself, requiring machines of staggering precision and cost. Only a handful of companies can make these tools, making access a global power struggle. The ability to build these machines shapes the destiny of nations. And now a new contender has entered the arena. The race to control the tools that shape our reality is on. The next chapter in this story is about to begin. Let's meet the machine at the heart of this revolution. Oh. Now, Shiji won't replace ASML's EUV machines. E-beam is ultra-precise but slow, perfect for R&D. Photolithography is faster and essential for mass production. Reports say Huawei's High Silicon is already in talks to adopt it, making this a commercial product for China's chip ecosystem. Shiji is one step in China's bigger journey toward semiconductor self-reliance. It's not about speed, it's about control and precision. Yes, control and precision. If the U.S. greenlights again sales of limited performance NVIDIA AI chips to China, e.g. H20 class under the new revenue sharing deal, expect tight guardrails, monitoring, and a snapback switch rather than a free-for-all. What the U.S. would likely will do next. The U.S. has allowed NVIDIA to sell downgraded AI chips to China, but under strict rules. Every sale must go through a license, the chips are capped below H100 performance, and Washington takes a 15% revenue cut. The Commerce Department can revoke access instantly if chips are diverted to the military, and Congress is already pushing back, warning this could fuel China's AI race. So while China gets access, the U.S. keeps the kill switch firmly in hand. Do you think this deal is smart strategy? or a dangerous dominance compromise.
What do you think? Is Gigi a game changer or symbolic step? Comment below and subscribe for more tech innovation deep dives. If you like this deep dive into the latest in tech breakthroughs, like this video, share the video with friends, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more tech insights. Thank you for watching. This has been Kim Led Media. Thank you.